Hi everyone, so today I have lip swatches video for you guys and I'm gonna do a little bit of review of these of these as well. And I'm sorry if you can hear the rain, it's raining hard outside and I'm enjoying the rain so far so um, I think this rainy season will continue for a couple of months so um, I'll probably do a waterproof makeup tutorial soon for that if or rainy season makeup tutorial if you guys are interested in that. So I got a new haircut, this is called the octopus haircut I think. And when it's blow dried it actually looks better and more volumized. But right now I just had I just took a shower and then let it air dry and this is how it looks like when it's naturally dry and it didn't fix it when it's dry naturally and I didn't do anything with it. I just literally just combed it and that's it. I've been waiting for the rainy season just because it's been so hot lately and I mean I love summer but I don't like when it's too hot. So enough of the rant. I'll just go ahead and talk about the lipsticks that I'm gonna show you guys today. Uh, today I'm gonna be doing a review and lip swatches of these LA Girl cream lipsticks and this is how they look like. Um, it's in the cheap packaging, but I like the shape of the lipstick because it's slim and I love lipsticks like this. It's more easier to apply rather than lipsticks like this. I'm really bad at describing things, but as you can see, um, the, the applicator is different. So first color that I have is called Demure. It's like this uh, brownish it's actually not brown, it's just, just this dark orange color. Next is called Fling, which is a brownish nude color. And as you all know, I'm really into nude and brownish colors lately. And then I have this bright fusion pink color called True Love. This color is amazing as well. So first shade that I'm going to be swatching is this um, shade called Fling. Last but definitely not the least, I'm going to swatch this color called True Love. lipsticks are actually true to what it says they're very creamy and so these LA girl cream lipsticks really do glide on your lips smoothly and they feel creamy on your lips and I don't know if this has uh, cinnamon in it or whatever but when I wear these I feel like my lips are getting plumped up I don't know what ingredient it has but I don't know I feel like it plumps up my lips for some reason but it's, it's not um, it's not intense or anything. But I just feel like my lips are getting plumped. I don't know. I don't know why. But it's, it doesn't bother me at all. I just had to say it in this video. 
and um, the colors are pigmented they don't look patchy on the lips um the only thing that bothers me is the taste and the scent it tastes like really taste uh, the flavor of this lipstick these lipsticks they're not it tastes like uh, fruity it's a little fruity but it's like you're eating perfume so it's not super strong but you, you can it's like it's kind of a mature scent if they come out with more nudes i would definitely repurchase these lipsticks because this nude for example is really really nice and creamy so if they come out with more nudes um like peachy nudes or like pinkish nudes i would definitely repurchase these why not they have really nice color selection as well when you go to la girl booths you can find a lot of different shades Definitely not drying, it's moisturizing, it, and I think it lasts a pretty long time on your lips. And right now, I, um, it feels a little minty on the lips, so that's probably why I feel like my lips are getting plumped. But yeah, so you only need one or two swipes and you'll get this intense color on your lips. It's creamy. If you're looking for really nice, affordable cream lipsticks, go ahead and try out the LA Girl, LA Girl Cream Lipsticks. So that's it for my review and swatches of these LA Girl Cream Lipsticks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys again in my next video. Bye!